And that is our big story this evening. The city of Beaver Dam still reeling from its first homicide since 1986. The latest happening Saturday afternoon when a woman from Illinois was shot and killed. Fox 6's Brett Lemoyne joins us live at the Dodge County Courthouse with why the city's police chief is asking for perspective here. Brett. Well, the police chief says this was an isolated incident and not reflective of the Beaver Dam community. Now, the suspect in this case still has not been charged, but he is expected to be here in front of a judge tomorrow. Many people in Beaver Dam may not even remember the last homicide here. Since 1986. It took place before current police chief John Kreitziger joined the department. We never won our first one, uh, and, and this one's been a while, so um, yeah, it's, the chain has now been broken. Happening Saturday afternoon near 3rd and University, investigators say 30-year-old Stacia Hollinshead, an assistant state's attorney in DeKalb County, Illinois, was shot and killed inside this duplex. Police identify the shooter as Ulysses Medina Espinosa. Court records indicate Espinosa and Hollinshead were divorced. In 2016, Hollinshead was granted a restraining order. That we're trying to still determine at this point. There may be some information out there that it was, but we're still working on interviews and collecting evidence, and we hope to know more uh, tomorrow. Kreitziger says another adult and child were inside the home when the shooting took place, but would and elaborate on their relationship to the suspect and victim. Someone got shot. Oh, he shot somebody? Cell phone video shows Espinosa's arrest. He was taken into custody inside the residence. He was taken into custody without an incident. According to an online group that tracks domestic violence deaths by state, as of Saturday, Wisconsin had 19 lives lost to domestic violence. Researchers say those statistics are on track to outpace last year's data. Back in Beaver Dam, the police chief says this is a tragedy and statistic the city must overcome. We are still a safe community and will still be a safe community. Now, Espinosa is expected to face a homicide charge tomorrow, and that's really when we should learn many more details about this case. Holland's head, meanwhile, also being remembered tonight as a loving mother. Reporting live at the Dodge County Courthouse, Brett Lemoyne, Fox 6 News. We'll follow this through to the end. All right, Brett, thank you for that.